MailChimp email template tutorial, the best templates for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be going over MailChimp and how you can create templates on MailChimp and what are the pre-existing starting points provided. So let's get into it. Now, MailChimp is a great email marketing platform. It focuses on email marketing, and that is what I recommend it for. And it has a bunch of different templates that you can try out. So let's get into it. Now, to get started, I have just logged on to my MailChimp account over here. And you can just click on Create on the top left, and you can choose what you want to create. So we want to create emails. Now, from emails, you have three different sections, plain text, regular or template so you can design your own template or customize a pre-existing one so we're going to focus on templates now once you click on templates you're just going to click on get started and then you will be able to see the different templates that are available by mailchimp so these are all the templates that you can pick out from and the best part about this is that a bunch of these are available for free and you can really customize and make these your own you really don't have to put in a lot of effort in that way but if you want to make a more unique email template, you can definitely check out their premium ones. So uh, the ones that are present at the bottom, all of these are premium templates. So you will have to upgrade to use these. Now, moving on, you also have layouts if you look at the top left. And this is something that I really like to use because you know layouts are simple so layouts basically allow you to enter your own information in a blank slate but they have already structured it so where you're supposed to put in your heading your image your logo all that good stuff and this can help you in building a basic template like building your headers your footers your basic image blocks and then for each let's say if i'm trying to build a email template for my newsletters I can just customize the information I put in between and the images I put in between while I still have all of the uh, basic elements added in the form of a template. So this is why I really like to use these kinds of templates. Then you also have code your own. Now I'm going to give you guys a hack and I don't necessarily say it's a good thing. But you can actually copy the code off of other emails on other emailing platforms like ConvertKit or like SendinBlue. Often you can actually go into your page info, go into your like settings and open up, you know, the code for a specific page. And I don't recommend it. It's pretty bad that you can do this, but you can if you want to. So uh, that's another great option if you want to really build a super customized email. And that can actually enable you to access a bunch of paid email templates for free as well. So do check that out if you want to. Uh, you can experiment with that, but we're going to focus on building our own templates via themes and layouts. So first off, I'm going to get started with layouts. Now, these uh, first two are available for free and the rest of them are uh, upgrade to use. So the three column ones, but these basic column ones are available for free. So you guys can choose any of the free ones or the paid ones, whichever one you like. So let's say I want to use the one ratio two column and uh i can just use you know the one column one and build two columns at the bottom it's really not that difficult so i'm gonna use this basic one and i'm going to build a template okay i'm not building an email right now i'm building a standard kind of template that i can reuse over and over to send to my customers every month in the form of a newsletter because a newsletter, maybe let's say I have a fashion brand and the newsletter just includes information about our new drop and the new trends, but the header, the footer, and you know, the first image is always the same. So for that, what I'm going to do, you guys can see we have our text, we have our content, we have our settings. So I can choose the number of columns. I can do a column split like this and I can delete an entire section, you know, an entire content block if I want to and i can save and close it like this so uh you can choose to add multiple different content however you want so you guys can see we have this little column one column two now i can customize it however i want as i was saying you know the two column one was a paid version but you can easily open their editor and build two columns on your own 
and you can go into your settings and choose how you want them to be split but I like this as it is so I'm going to save and close and this is where I want to be able to enter information about the newsletter or the hottest trends and our new drop our new drop and I'm just going to put this in bold and I can choose the style that I'm going to make it a heading and in column one I want people to see the new trends and I'm just going to make this a heading as well now below that I want to be able to visualize how the email is going to look so I want to add some empty spaces I'm just adding a little bit of space just so I'm able to see how I'm supposed to write up my text you can add some loris ipsum which is you know basic text so after that let's say I want a divider on top because I want to place or maybe I don't want a divider I think it looks a little too segregated but I want a image below our logo uh, that's going to be like a standard image present everywhere so for that I can just use this drag and drop and drag the image below the logo and I can browse the image gallery I can upload my own images so uh, you have a bunch of different options so I'm just gonna go on ahead and upload my own image though i can't really find any good images for now i'm just taking this as a sample image and i'm actually going to use this uh header design instead because i think it looks very nice like so and then i'm just going to replace the text and within it so i can just go ahead go into the content save and close and then you can click on the block, click on the edit, and you have edit over here. And now you can edit it from here. You can click on your text like so, and we can place, you know, our own text and whatnot in it. And you can, uh, you know, place it however you want. You can also replace it within the form of new things, but I think an image looked better. So I'm just gonna go on ahead and use my sample image instead. So I think I'm gonna go with this one like so, because maybe like this is like our most popular or most iconic item. So I just want it to be in every newsletter. Then you have the image size. You can obviously resize the image however you want it. You can click on the alignment on how you want it. If you want it edge to edge, constrain it by dimensions, and you can choose the style. So if you want to place a border within it, I don't want that. You can also choose rounded corners. That's totally up to you. But once we have done that, we have our content. We're just going to click on save and close. You can also edit your image uh, in the form of this specific a creative assistant. So you can upload your image and then click on the creative assistant. And it's going to show you guys how to add the image directly into your specific text. So you can see now I have my image and I can resize it however I want. So I have the crops. I can click on crops or resize and let's say i have this and i want to do it custom or i want it to be a 16 by 9 like so and i'm going to click on save and once i have my crop ready i can click on save and close now i have the logo up top so i'm just going to use the creative assistant and i'm going to skip ahead and generate some designs and this is using AI to generate your design. So it's pretty easy to come up with a logo if you don't have one. Uh, if you have one, obviously use those. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go into my own files and use this pre-existing one that I created. And I'm going to resize it a little. So I just want the logo. If I want to add text, you can also drag and drop a text block. Now, this is like a standard header. This is going to be the section where I'm going to enter the, you know, new stuff in. Then I want to add images at the bottom of this section. So I'm just going to drag and drop images. Then I'm going to click on settings. Then I have the alignment. Then I have the style, how I want it to appear. And you can go on ahead, save and close this. But if you want multiple different images, so uh, if you want, you know, images side by side instead of being uh, below or above each other you're gonna delete this and you're gonna add a image group instead if you want them to be you know columned so I'm just gonna drop this block over here and then we have image groups which are parallel to each other 
Now, below that, I have my social info. You're going to click on that, enter all of your social media links, or whichever ones you have. You can add another service and add, you know, different links. If you have businesses in different industries, you can add those as well. But I am going to continue on with this one. Then you have your actual footer. So make sure you actually edit your footer. It shouldn't look like this. Uh, we're going to edit this. So I'm just going to save it like so. And you can add a lot more information. You can actually find templates of a footer or copyright information that you should add, whatever you might want to add, depending on the industry you are in. Now, I think our template is complete. And now I can click on save and exit or preview and test. So I can click on enter preview mode. And this is how my email is going to look. Obviously, this is the section I left empty, which I can customize on each month. Then I have the mobile version. And then I have the inbox version, how it's going to look in the form of an inbox. This is only available as a premium feature on MailChimp. And I think it looks good. So I can click on send a test email. And you can choose whichever email address you want to send a test email to. And let's say I want to send it to myself. And I'm just going to open up my Gmail. And you guys can see I received the email in my inbox. So it's working. And now I can go on ahead, click on save and exit. And now I have my newsletter template ready to be edited every month and then sent out to all of my customers. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.